Hello and welcome to the only Rainbow Six Siege tips and tricks video you will ever need. These tips will work for all platforms, including console. But before we get into these clips, if you're trying to get some merch that you see me wearing right now, check the link down below in the description. I would appreciate it. All right, and before we start the video, make sure you drop a like for my dog, Minnie. Would appreciate it. All right, so anyways, the number one thing that you probably need to change is your mindset because I promise you're probably thinking about improving all wrong. And what I mean by that is when you ask yourself, what do i want to improve at most people are going to say either their rank or their kd or both so you've got to change this mindset and remember that your rank and kd is not the end all be all when you fix what you're not good at your rank will improve because of that and the same can be said about your kd that's why i always try to stress this to everyone so now if you don't believe me i have a 23 minute long video on this down below in the description on my second channel so i would appreciate if you check that out if you don't believe that rank kd doesn't matter check that video out i kind of debunk it all right so next up stop being intimidated by high ranked players i hear this so so often from bad players and this is usually how it goes they're diamonds i'm plat three how am i supposed to win you're not the answer is you're not you're supposed to get absolutely destroyed and lose not win but that's where it ends for most players they whine and complain about how good the other team is without taking responsibility for this dumb peak they made or this dumb push that they made and the biggest thing of all is that they don't try and learn from them if they're so much better then this is a perfect opportunity to see how better players play the game and learn from them see how you got absolutely destroyed and then learn from it so that the next time you don't get absolutely destroyed how are you supposed to improve if you just whine and complain about playing against better players if you only play with and against bad players they don't know something you don't you're not going to improve based off that take those opportunities and learn from those of which are better than you all right and that brings me to number three which is take responsibility and learn from your mistakes okay how are you supposed to learn and get better if you don't even accept when you peak something you shouldn't have or you push something that you shouldn't have okay every time you die the first thing you should do is call out hey i died here he's in he you know he's in bar whatever it may be right the second thing is to ask yourself okay number one should i peak that did i need to peak that okay number two should i have pushed that did i need to push that okay and number three was there a better play that i could have made right so now if your answer is to yes i had to peak and yes i had to push and no there was nothing better than i could have done then what you probably messed up on was before that where you put yourself in such a bad position to where you have nothing to do where you had to peak you had to push something that was not in your advantage you had to make a play that you just couldn't win so ask yourself could i have put myself in a better position beforehand so that i didn't have to do those things and that's not to say that every single time you die it is your fault but i will say that the majority of times that you die in siege it is because of you you messed up you peaked something you shouldn't have you pushed something you shouldn't have you made a play you shouldn't have or you just simply put yourself in a position to where you had to do one of those three things all right so now let's talk about your settings and peripherals but before we do if you guys are not subscribed to this video subscribe turn notifications on so you don't miss another video like this like the video and comment down below my dog's name mini she's in the background there she is text on screen i'm gonna heart every comment that does i appreciate you anyways though settings and peripherals so here's the problem okay i get so many comments every single day and they're like shock what's the best aspect ratio in fov what's the best mouse for siege or what's the best keyboard for siege now here's the problem with those questions okay there is no such thing as the best aspect ratio fov mouse mouse pad keyboard none of it it doesn't matter there is no such thing as the best okay it is all personal to what you like okay i like playing 4384 fov but you may hate it you may love 16 10 90. i don't know i don't like it personally i like 43 right i love my g pro super light but you may hate it you may love the razor viper ultimate instead personal preference right so at the end of the day it's all about what you like and what fits you the best and that's not to say that asking what someone uses is a bad thing definitely not you know i get curious sometimes too like yeah i wonder what mouse he's using but 
I would hate to see someone go out and spend their hard-earned money on a mouse, especially like a G Pro or a Viper that's so expensive and they don't end up liking it just because their favorite YouTuber uses it or their favorite streamer uses it or whatever it may be, right? I don't want to see anybody buy something that they don't need or that they're not going to like or use something like a sensitivity and an aspect ratio of a V that is not good for them just because someone else uses it. You're not gonna become Bolo because you're using a sensitivity. I promise, I promise, I've tried it. I've got a video on it on this channel. It has like almost 200K views or something. I'm not Bolo, okay? <laughs> Even though I use a sense, believe it or not, I did not turn into Bolo, okay? I'm still terrible, all right? Anyways though, moving on, you can't have a tips and tricks video without mentioning the basics such as aim trainers and bettering your mechanical skill okay now you guys have likely heard my take on aim trainers before but if you have it to keep it short basically not a big fan of them if you want more information on why i really don't like aim trainers and why you probably should not be using one i've got a full in-depth video on this i'll link it down below in the description um check that out anyways though this is really simple stuff guys if you're on pc make sure you stick to that 400 to 800 dpi if you're on anything else you're probably trolling uh those are just kind of the industry standards you know what i mean and every single time i i mention this someone in the comments goes well hey shock i play on 50 50 in game and 3000 dpi is that high and i'm thinking to myself well i just told you that if you're on anything higher than 800 it's too high so before you ask, yes, it is, your sensitivity is, is probably too high if you're on anything other than 400 or 800, okay? If you're over 800, there's probably something going on there, all right? I know people are going to be like, well, well, hold on. You just said that this is personal preference. You, wait a minute. You just said that settings like this are personal preference. I know. Calm down for a sec. Listen, sensitivity is one of those things that there is such thing as too high. And if you have your sensitivity too high, you're, you're literally holding yourself back in terms of your mechanical skill and i know that jolly and other high sense players are really really good but chances are if you're watching this video you're not the exception okay jolly is the exception if you're watching this video on how to get better aim you're probably not the exception you probably don't have jolly's aim so just try to use 400 or 800 and go from there anyways though that is going to be the end of this tips and tricks video i hope that you guys enjoyed if you guys did remember to like the video subscribe comment my dog's name mini down below i'll heart your comment would appreciate it check out this merch bro listen to this if you haven't got my merch you haven't checked it out shock.store the link is down below in the description check that out i would appreciate it anyways though my tips playlist is linked down below in the description as well as my second channel and my coaching service if you guys are interested in getting one-on-one -on -one coaching from me i'll help you out there check that out in the description anyways though i'll catch you guys in the next one and have a great day